All right, guys, uh, Valiant here. I'm just going to run a bunch of short tutorials. Hopefully, I can post them on YouTube today for you guys to review. Um, some questions about creating a layout. Okay, so I know we have those recorded on the uh, MS Team site where I have my daily lessons. I'll just send these out there on YouTube so you guys can watch it from home anytime you'd like. Okay, one of my strategies is this, okay? So, you know, you, you guys have to submit your work in a in one document that has kind of the steps, your process, and so forth. But we're also in a ComTech class where we need to think about layout, emphasis, harmony, balance, uh, typography, hierarchy of information, all those things that I've covered in class, okay? So what I want to do right now, just in Krita, I'm just going to make a new document for you guys. And I want to use this as a template. So from here on in, what I want to do is create a template with the, the title of the assignment. And then you get that all the time that you want. You just reuse that template. Okay? It's a smart strategy to use and uh, see how it goes for you, okay? Okay, so let's go file new here. And let's see if we can do this. And I'm using Krita. You can use any application. You can Google Docs. I don't really care. As long as you have a title and it's 14 by 8.5. Okay, notice this. I have it on my website. I've told you guys over and over that it needs to be in landscape format so that we can get all the work in. Okay, this resolution is my choice. I would, I would definitely leave it at 100 minimum. But for me, I just want to do, well, let's just do 100 and move on. Okay, it's only like a number right now. Okay, points per inch just gives me, uh, you know, when I'm drawing, I like to crank that resolution way higher so that digitally there's more pixels and more information per inch per dot. Okay, so right now I'm going to make a template really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to work in layers. Boom, boom, boom. Going to hit a bunch of pluses here and off we go. I'm going to go to the bottom layer above uh, background. I'm just going to make a rectangle with my selection tool up here. Okay, this is the same as the marquee tool in Photoshop. All right, so just roughly something like this. Boom. Notice that proportionally, this is not taking up a one quarter of the space. Like some of you are submitting like a title bar is more important than the work. It's not. It's just to communicate information. Okay. And what I like to do is uh, I like to have a theme. Uh, I pick a color based on the work I'm sampling. But like right now, we're just going to keep it festive maybe. Let's go in the green zone here and uh, warmer. Maybe something like that. I don't know. This is not going to look. Yeah. Here. Why don't I just use one of these guys here, for example. Okay. We're going for green right now. Big festive. That means anything. Here. Boom. Wow. That's just not me, man. That is not me. Okay. We're, we're saying bye to that color right now. <laughs> okay. We're going back to pink. Yes. There you go. Now, I just selected that. And my hotkeys in this, in this application... If you're in Windows, it would be under setting. In this application, it's preferences. Gotta turn these off, man. I don't want any dings or anything here. Hang on a second. I'll just do this for a second. Uh, do not, am I on? Do not disturb? Yep, I'm on. I don't know why I'm getting dings here. Okay, all right, so here we go. We got this, right? Beautiful, Command D, deselect. So basically what I was saying, create our preferences. What I did is I went to shortcuts down here and I made it fo Photoshop compatible, which is compatible with Sketchbook and obviously Photoshop. All right, done. I said done. Okay, now is the tricky part. Uh, this part, I don't know why I'm getting that. Uh, T for text, normally most apps. So let's see, there's T over here. Okay, so right now um, I want to, let's just make this about the project, right? Well, let's see here. Potion bottle, we call that uh, game asset, game art and asset design, right? Okay, so that's really the title, game art and asset design. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to call this, first of all, I'm going to save this as a template. Save as, as a template desktop. What are these assets? I have lots of stuff open right now, so let's make a, let's just come in here. demo Friday double click and I'm gonna call this template okay template there all right so it says up here it's a template great so what do you want to do is you want to keep this document and you don't want to work on this document you just want to bring it in every time uh, whenever you're doing an assignment and change whatever you need to do and I'll show you what I mean by that right now okay so here and I'm gonna in this app you have to make a box look you have to make a box 
and then another thing pops up here we go I'm gonna call this now I'm gonna stick to caps at the moment uh, let's call it game art and asset design okay all right there's my title so what we want to do is highlight this and then highlight it like that and then uh, 10 like ideally like when you're reading a book or you're handing a sorry not a book an essay it's 12 points right so right now we're going to go for a title i'm going to crank this to 48 it might be too small it might be too big notice that the color right now is the same as the bar that won't help us right so i need to go either darker brighter or whatever so here look what i'm going to do now i'm just going to come in i'm just going to go darker just for the sake of it let's see how that goes so there's a couple clicks to do here save close there we go if i come in here now now you notice that this is massive in this page right massive so what we do is we click on it again and we go okay 48 was a little extreme value let's go to 36 save and then close okay much better all right so i'm going to come over here i'm going to crank it up there in the middle like that game art oh, and, and in this app it's it's like i'm so used to pressing return in photoshop but you can't here so let's call this my uh, title page now so i'm going to come in here and go i'm going to go like this i'm going to say title page title page okay um i don't know oops i didn't highlight things okay we want a 10 certainly not 18 maybe let's see how that goes save and then close multi oh this time now look if i just bring this here now it's gone right so we're going to click in here again enter highlight it I didn't remember the last color for some reason so let's just come in here and i'm going to go extreme now i'm going to go bright okay so i'm going to lighten it up press save let's see how this looks close title page right so i'll just come in here and say basically this could be like your potion bottle it could be one of your 12 right title page okay click out um what course is this Ooh, that's a good idea normally what i do is i duplicate things so i haven't quite learned that method here so i'm just gonna just come in here and let's see i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna duplicate this layer okay there and if i click on it i should come over here and maybe this time i'll press enter and i hope it doesn't change the other one title page what is this uh, grade 10 animation class grade 10 animation right there what size 18 i'm good with that uh close all right it didn't change the other one great okay click out all right great now if we, if we wanted to go hierarchy of information i could make this one smaller right double click unless you guys want to you know like keep title page whatever it's up to you so i'm going to slide this over a bit and i'm going to actually just drop it down a touch so i'm just going to go enter here I'm going to highlight it from 18. I'm going to drop it to, let's say, 14. That's pretty small right now, okay? So save, close, and there we go. I'm going to zoom in here, Control plus, okay? Going to make sure these things are lined up. Great 10 animations, slide it over here. All right, click out. Now, all of you, I said, I want logo initials. We're going to, we're going to get into it in greater detail later. Later when we come back from the break right but we've been practicing we've been practicing it's not like i'm going to drop it at you and we go so here's some examples of logo initials that i was demoing in class okay so what i'm going to do is again i need your initials and i need your full name so i don't because we might have four ab's in my class so i'm not going to know who ab is right right now i'm the only ab believe it or not so that's kind of cool so i'll take this right now and i'm going to use this one as my um this here right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to command shift for an Apple computer. You guys can do snippet, do whatever you want. And it's going to be like, now it's there, right? Cool. Go to template. And then now we're going to go, this is so tedious. Ready? Layer, import, import million times, import layer. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm hoping this is what just got screened in there. Yeah, baby, yes. Okay, so take the cross here. Bring it in next to the cross there's like a stamp looking thing which is control uh, t command t which is free transform in photoshop so check it out this comes here this stays like that so i'm done valian valian is done he's got his template done okay click out i said click out press enter hopefully that works 
Okay, so now I have my template. There you go. So anytime, so I'm gonna save this, man S, okay? There it is, so this is done, that's my template. Okay, so now if you're doing, if you're working on the uh, game asset design and you're submitting this, and here you write in potion, bottle, great time, and animation, there's your initials, then you kind of, you have another one here, that's the potion bottle. I don't know where my wand went. We have a wand somewhere over here. I don't know where it is, but anyway. So there's this one, okay? So you can actually bring in the template, rename it, bring in your artifacts, meaning what you're working in. I hope this makes sense. And uh, basically, save this template. And then once you bring stuff in, I want you to go file, save as, like this, save as. And then you see how I have it as Krita now? Like, so this will be a document that could go into slides, Google Slides, whatever slides you want, I don't care, as long as it's one package. So then you can go, instead of going template this time, okay? Um, just gonna put zero one for a second, because I'm always, uh, I worry that I lose my work. So right now I'm just gonna go, instead of template, I'm gonna say, this is my Valiant, watch this, cover page. So this will be saved as my cover page, see? And it'll be a PNG or a JPEG. So I'm going to go to PNG because it's a smaller file. So this will be my, let's say I finished all the work here. That's what I would do. Okay, cool. All right, next video is me laying out the drawing fundamentals. Thanks, Valiant out. Bye-bye.